Commander Callum speaking. I see nothing escapes you, my lord, including the location of Operation Group 2's base. What is their status? Dead. Every last one. All that's left is this data pad. The records are encrypted. Standard Black Ops protocol. Upload the data and I'll decode it. Let me see. Confidential report, mission to rescue the Dread Masters. Ah, here we are. According to this log, Operations Group 1 set out to free the Sith. Group 2 stayed behind to secure their escape. Then they were attacked. I will destroy the enemies of the Empire. Excellent. Judging by these records, an unidentified alien species ambushed Group 2. I believe we have the Eshkar to thank. You may have stopped their escape before, but many still roam free. And they're growing stronger. In the name of the Emperor, I'm asking for your assistance, my lord. Help us rescue the Dreadmasters, before the Eshkar destroy them. If the Dreadmasters are so powerful, couldn't they terrorize the Eshkar into submission? Republic medication keeps the Dreadmasters docile, but act fast and you may yet witness their power. According to the intel you recovered, Operations Group 1 left for Vault 914. That's where the Republic jailed the Dreadmasters. Locate them at once, and if you encounter Eshkar, show them no mercy. Warning, tampering with the TA-350 Imperial Probe Unit prohibited. Activating violent countermeasures. Observation speculative. Subjects identity and motives unknown. Maintaining threatening demeanor. I have little patience for fools, droid or otherwise. Acquiescing. Units are to acquire samples of Rakata stasis technology from sublevel generators. Technology allows for immediate suspension of organic matter, application, large-scale stasis fields capable of immobilizing entire armies. I'm only interested in weaponry that leaves my enemies in pieces. Units found escaped Eshka inmates dismantling target stasis generators. Eshka proved hostile, damaged TA-350 unit. Ashka hostiles likely acquiring stasis technology for personal use. Self unit lacks sufficient firepower to engage. This is why you leave the real work to someone with a brain. Collect necessary tech samples from inactive stasis generators. Preventative violence against Eshka inmates is advised. I take or spare lives at my own discretion. If I were you, I wouldn't be satisfied with killing a few animals.
Charros de diez, de que es Y bien frente a mi fiel que es nada más café. You'd better not go back on your word. Habí cuenta más de legan de bis obillas. De div mule hele. Si es mi infidad. I am incredibly powerful after all. yet me big So Inter, me beg dressed past yet done ilbi for cost in pain. Litiest tikinti twetlek. Mafok naho ratiest bi elmu. In Tisor Mahefna. The Dread Masters are worth more than your entire species. Don't make me destroy you. Zinias Jur Drukal Jasbro, Li Hidan Naka Niest Hija. Maro Gial Jest Mat Zenki, Tom Korskil Niest Rahulba. Garf Kyodian, Tiest Ziti Kor Mili Kiest Madwa. Control over the Dread Masters. But you must to rest. Jit mietke inti. Fear. Yatan. Hienneth Rebia. None can contain us. Not this prison, not the Republic, and certainly not these creatures. You'd still be the Eshkar's playthings, if not for me. Fear. We are the Dread Masters. Show your respect. Cannot scare me. Impossible. You are strong with the dark side. In here, men! Take down the Imperials! Secure the dread! <laughs> Think on what will happen next. 
show the Republic the true meaning of terror. First, the pupils dilate, muscles tighten, hysteria replaces rationality, and then... <coughs> the mind shatters. See why the Empire fought so hard to free you. Commander Callum, the Dreadmasters are ready for extraction. I knew you wouldn't fail us, my lord. I am Commander Callum, my lords. It's my honor to ensure your safe passage off Belsavis. An evacuation team awaits you in minimum security. Good. We'll strike out at once. But first, we terrorize the Eshkar. You have much skill. Learn from what you've seen today. May it fuel your power. The Dreadmasters aren't known for their compliments, but I agree with their assessment. All that remains is your debriefing. I will await your company aboard the space station. Commander Callum, out. Finally, someone's penetrated the deep tombs, and a Sith nonetheless. We're both busy, so I'll be brief. There is a prisoner in your area, immensely powerful, hardened by decades of experimentations, and then left to rot. He is known only as Subject 13. He must be freed and made to serve the Empire. Sounds like a worthy cause. I knew you would understand. There are cowards who would as soon leave his power untapped. Whoever or whatever Subject 13 is, he won't bow to the Empire without some... convincing. Any Sith could break his shackles, but you alone possess the strength to dominate Subject 13. Consider it done. Excellent. Follow the coordinates to Subject 13's cell. Subdue him. Then my apprentice will facilitate his escape. I will await word of the prisoner's liberation. Borobletare, <laughs> Doctor. I took you yet me big shuram. Me attend a titi man. Temur, tohe telurum sabies ten chetos telebres dia. I thought I was crazy. Agnatius kene mers, taha deam fishnen. Made was the tourist. Lijike larms me at GNT. Lord Mogren told me you would be here. I am his apprentice. And Subject 13? You defeated him? Such keen powers of observation you have. Um, well, you've weakened Subject 13, but he still lives. If death provided an escape, he would have killed himself centuries ago. Subject 13, you have been vanquished. Now take my mind and serve the Empire. It is your only choice. He obeys. Tell Lord Mogren of my glory.
You escaped. Excellent. Subject 13's ancient cell remains a mystery to us, but I apologize for keeping you in the dark this long. At any rate, Subject 13 has assumed control of my apprentice. The shock collar cured the prisoner's initial disobedience. Soon I will direct his wrath against the Republic. The chaos he unleashes shall be in your name. Which of my children are you? Why have they sent you to me? I'm looking for a machine that can rebuild me. The Rakata called me the Mother Machine. I call myself a Shah. My children are as numerous as the Rakata once were. I called them Twi'lek, Sabrak, Eshka. I loved them all. I can remake you, but I must ask you to free me. I will no longer slave to the Regatta. Their age is done. You're some sort of artificial intelligence the Regatta used to create new life forms. The Regatta enslaved me to create a force powerful species that might give them insight into their own lost sensitivity. Bah. Never trust a machine. They took some of my children for slaves, imprisoned others for further experimentation or destruction. Please, you must release me. All right. How do I release you? The Rakata gave me the freedom to create within their parameters, but they built me to be far more powerful. Disable the terminals nearby. They restrain me. With release, I will remake you however you please. There could be something in that. Power for you is power for us. Bah. What she calls affection is just a series of subroutines. Don't trust her. I've heard enough from you ghosts. I'm sorry. Are there others here? Who are you speaking to, child? I ask you again, will you help me? How do I disable the terminals? If I knew, I would have circumvented them a long time ago. You are the first to find me in the heart of this place. You are my only chance. more than one way to free an AI. Who needs slices? Even Rakata devices break. Thank you. We needn't worry about the Rakata anymore. I have turned the machines against them. They are dead. I think I've earned my payment. Of course, child. Your reward is well earned. I will remake you.
There. The ancient Rakatan specification has been altered. You have been remade. Your power will no longer devour you. What do you mean, ancient Rakatan specification? Am I a Rakata now? You are you. I have merely reorganized your cellular structure. If I could build a Rakata, that species would not have died out. Go, child. I will never forget the kindness you have shown me. Welcome, my lord. Your assistance has proven invaluable, just as the Emperor foresaw. The Dreadmasters are safe. In freeing them, you have truly accomplished the Emperor's vision. The Dreadmasters have a temper. Try not to anger them. Naturally. But thank you for the advice. It goes without saying that all events on Belsavis are strictly confidential. Especially those pertaining to the Eshkar. But enough formalities. With the Dreadmasters freed, the galaxy will know fear once more. The Emperor thanks you for everything. Child, thank you again for freeing me. I very nearly finished claiming control of this prison. I've had one of the prison security droids and saw an upgrade to your ship as a sign of my gratitude. May it help you on your journey. I'm finished here. You're looking a lot better, that's for sure. Papa no Gasavans, no Anis, Pose Ustauhana. Hey, we're getting a hollow call here. Someone named Moff Pyron. My lord, Moff Valiant Pyron. I've heard much about you. I thought it was time we spoke. I've been watching this conflict between you and Thanaton. I intend to be on the winning side. Ah, you're calling to kiss my boots. Carry on. No, I'm calling to give you an opportunity. You lack Imperial connection, but with the proper display of patriotism, you could easily win many of the moths to your side. My loyalty to the Empire is unquestionable. It is my duty to serve. If only more Sith Lords thought like you. At Thanaton's behest, the Empire recently cut funding on a project called the Silencer. A super weapon capable of disintegrating an entire armada. If an ambitious young Sith were to see the weapon to completion and then test fire it on a Republic fleet, he would be well regarded. What's necessary to complete the weapon? A sensor chip. The CN-12. Incredibly rare and powerful. The chip is only built on Nar Shaddaa. It's illegal in the Republic. In the Empire, it's... Well, we don't use it lightly. But I understand your little cult on Nar Shaddaa has moved into electronic weaponry and is now the chief supplier of these chips. I will consult my cult and see what we can do for you. I'm pleased to hear it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have this business of the war to attend to. So, explain this to me. The tomb of Naga Sadao on Koridam was built by Tulak Horde before Naga Sadao was even born? And that's where you found the Deshard Shadow Killer? And when your master tried to steal your body, you use the artifacts of Tulag Horde to put her being into this to shard? Where did you hear all this? Darth Zash and I have been talking. Well, when she's around. I would love to speak more with Kem Val, but I don't think he likes me. Being locked in stasis for hundreds of years was hard on him. <laughs> Do you know I never thought of it that way? Yes, I'm sure that's it. Perhaps I could give him a few social pointers. I would leave him alone if I were you. He's liable to become violent. Nonsense. Who are the monsters I have encountered in the dark corners of tombs make Kem Val look positively civilized? I understand you inherited quite the archive from Zash. I would love to see it sometime. I would love to show it to you. Excellent. The quest for knowledge is eternal. 
I'm realizing there's a lot I don't understand about the Empire. I don't expect a Jedi to understand. But the Empire is strength and freedom. They certainly talk a lot about strength, but freedom? From what I've seen, that belongs to a select few. Slavery is everywhere. And even among the so-called free, only the Sith act with any sort of independence. It's hard to see good in an empire that thinks of non-humans as nothing more than slaves. The empire is a meritocracy. Those that can rise to the top. The inferior fall behind. It doesn't sound as if merit has anything to do with it. I just wonder. The original Sith weren't human. It's a contradiction. Contrary to what the Jedi teach, the world is not all light and dark. There are many shades, and many contradictions. I'm beginning to see that, but I'm not sure I like it. So what does a Sith do for fun? Ah, the usual. Lying, killing, manipulating. Sith is more of a lifestyle. At least you have a sense of humor about it, huh? You've returned to us. My lord, the great dragon. We'll tell Masters Riley and Destris you're here. We hope you'll be proud of the work we've done. Yes, my lord. We practically own the streets. My lord, good to see you again. Hope you like what we've done with the place. What can old Riley and Destris do for you? I'm trying to build a super weapon, and I require your aid. I need a chip called the CN-12. CN-12, huh? Funny you should mention it. We wanted to build your cult up into something big, see? And we picked the CN-12 to do it. It's a real crazy technology, and it just happened some of the members worked on an early prototype called the Death Mark. We saw an opening, and there you have it. It was all dandy until a mucker called the Veil vale got involved. He's blasted our supply chain to pieces, and he controls the CN-12 market now. No one interferes with my cult. Well, maybe you can teach him a lesson. We're sore out of luck. He's not easy to get at. Holes up in Shadow Town. And he made it clear he only wants to meet with the boss. We, uh, didn't think that was really an option. And here you had me thinking the Veil was smart. He'll die either way. That's what I like about you, my lord. When you get an idea, you don't mess around. Good luck. I am here as requested. Which one of you is the Veil? I am the Veil. No, I am the Veil. No, it is me. I am the Veil. Actually, none of us are the Veil. Because all of us are the Veil. Still, we are all very glad to make your acquaintance, Cult Master. I have a notorious reputation. Especially when people steal from me. Ah, you speak of the CN-12. Everyone wants the CN-12. But few are willing to pay the price. The streets of Nar Shaddaa only have room for one true voice. Give us control of your cult, and we will give you the CN-12. I could just kill you one at a time until one of you agrees to give me the CN-12. Hear us out. 
The low lives that run your cult are brutal enough, but they lack vision. Why settle for a cult when you can have an empire? Our resources extend beyond the CN-12. Armies need weapons, ships need engines. What does your cult provide you now? Donations? Artifacts? We offer that and more. Our reach extends across the galaxy. Simply send a signal from one of these devices, and our servants will come to your aid anywhere in the galaxy, not just on Nar Shaddaa. You will give me the CN-12, and you will serve me. We will give you the CN-12. We will serve you. Please, let us join your cult. I don't let people join for free. Of course, my lord. Here is the CN-12. We assure you, you will not regret this. My lord, how did the meeting with the Veil go? The Veil was three people, but I made them see reason. Three people? Who would have thought? Stick around as long as you like. The members are happy to have you here. My lord, thank you again. I, I was wondering, I mean, what was between us? I suppose I could linger a while if that's what you want. Well, um, yes. I mean, the place has gotten a lot nicer since you were last here. Stay as long as you like, my lord. We are always happy to have you among us. My lord, you're very efficient. I promised you my respect and support, but you have also gained my admiration. I trust you've heard the bad news. Darth Thanaton's superior on the Dark Council died, mysteriously. Darth Thanaton has succeeded him. Then when I kill him, I will be a Dark Council member. Only if the Dark Council doesn't catch you. Isn't that how it works? I admire your determination, but I don't know how the other Moths will feel about opposing one of the galaxy's twelve most powerful Sith. Now, more than ever, the silencer must be completed, and you must take the credit. The Moths must see the true future of the Sith Empire. When I kill Thanaton, none of this will matter. Then let us hope you kill him soon. I will contact you when the weapon is ready for demonstration. Good luck, my lord. My lord, the Belsavis machine. It's made you better, but it wasn't enough to drive the voices from your head, was it? Do you have a solution? Zash is indisposed at the moment, but we still have the writings of Darth Vilas. We should go to Voss. Your body is cured, but Master Ryan always said a Jedi's mind must be whole. It's the same for a Sith. You can't face Thanaton until you can control the dead you've bound. <laughs> 